One of the strongest themes is that desire on the part of all human beings to have connection. Mice and Men is about connection, and whether it's friendship, love, um, just another human being talking to another human being. Each of the characters is chasing one of their dreams, and that's relevant today, of everybody trying to chase their American dream. The plot centers around um, uh, Lenny Small and George Milton, who are two uh, migrant workers in Depression-era um, California. George Milton is um, a ranch hand um, who's found himself, like a lot of guys during the Depression era, were just trying to survive, looking for just any way to make a living. He travels around with a, uh, a guy named Lenny Small, who he's known since uh, their childhood days in Auburn, California. George and Lenny have a really interesting relationship because Lenny's not capable of really having an adult relationship, so there's a bit of a parental um, quality coming from George. My character is an intellectually challenged uh, big guy. He pals around with George Milton and uh, is always getting himself in trouble as well as George. In an irrigation ditch all day long with guys out looking for us with guns. All the time. It's something you didn't mean. God almighty, I wish I could put you in a cage with a million mice and let them pet you. <laughs> Them. They rely on each other a great deal. They share a common dream, and they um, they run into the same problems wherever they go. My character in the show of Mice and Men is Curly's wife. Um, the role that she plays is she's married to the son of the superintendent of the farm, um, and she appears in and out of the storyline, typically getting in trouble. Whether she tries to or not, she just seems to attract a lot of... Discord. Um, my character in Of Mice and Men is, he's just um, a normal stable hand on the farm. He's the only colored guy on the farm, so nobody really talks to him. He's very alienated until um, Lenny Small comes in and talks to him and he has a connection with Lenny. The cast is great. It's all men except for one woman and one dog. Being the only woman in the cast makes it a little interesting at times. <laughs> kind of like an inside peek at a locker room. This cast has been one of the more giving casts I've ever worked with. Um, they're very open to suggestion. They also um, have fabulous instincts and give 100% um, every single time. Oh, she sure is pretty. Don't you even look at that. I've seen a poison before, but I ain't never seen no piece of jail bait bad as her. Don't you even look at her. Don't you even smell near her. I never smelled George. No, you never, but when she was in here showing her legs, you weren't looking the other way, neither. I didn't mean nothing, George. I just keep away from her. Of Mice and Men. It's relevant in today's modern world because... People are finding themselves in the same so boat as those people in the Depression time. In these hard economic times, we're all obviously working as hard as we can to make ends meet together, and you get that same message in the show. I think the audience reaction will be very um, empathetic towards it. Uh, we're going through a really hard economic time right now, as are the characters in this show. Some people, I think, are going to laugh. Some people are going to cry. Uh, it's going to be the whole gamut of emotions. Everybody should come out and see the show. It's going to be a great piece of theater for the night. You get great humor in this show. It's a very naturalistic show. It's a very authentic um, dialogue and, and rich characters. It is a piece that invokes a lot of emotion, a lot of thought. Um, and I think there is a clear message that the American dream, although distant, is still alive. Um, and in, in our times today, it's an important message.